Welcome to the channel guys, this video is for college and sixth form students studying level 3 BTEC IT. In this video we're going to talk about the features of using online systems for your unit 1 IT systems exam. Towards the end of the video we'll go over an example question you might be asked in your exam. I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip to that part of the video. If you get a question about online systems in your unit 1 exams, it's always about cloud storage and cloud computing. So in the video, we're going to run through the pros and cons for using each one. So it'll help you answer questions in your exam. So cloud storage is the first one we're going to talk about. Individuals and businesses can use cloud storage services to back up their data safe from natural disasters. So individual people might use cloud storage to save their photos and videos online and it lets them sync and access all their devices together. Whereas businesses might use cloud storage to save their data online as an off-site backup providing security of their data. And it's also beneficial for employees because they can access their documents from home. The next online system we're going to talk about is cloud computing. Individually, people might use cloud computing to access their emails and different types of software through different devices. People can use cloud computing professionally in pretty much the same way. They can access their emails and any software used in the office from their devices at home and they wouldn't have to download any software. So an example of this could be when students access their emails from home, especially during lockdown when students had to access their school documents through software online such as Microsoft Teams and Zoom. Here we're going to run through the pros and cons for cloud storage and cloud computing on individuals and organisations. So individually, people can access their data from a wide variety of devices and it's a lot easier to access because there is no need to download any software. One of the downsides you can talk about is the fact that cloud computing and storage requires a lot of bandwidth from your internet connection. So this can make the transfer or collection of data very slow. On the other hand, you might be asked about the pros and cons of cloud storage and computing on organisations. So the first thing you need to talk about is off-site backups because they're more physically secure. So if you have any data backed up in the office, there's a chance it could get destroyed by a fire. You can also talk about how businesses can change their subscription to these cloud storage and computing services, depending on their needs. And the last thing you could talk about is the fact that they can save money through needing less staff as cloud storage and computing services can be quite easy to manage. The downside of using online systems for organisations is the fact that they have less control over security as any backups are stored online. When it comes to online systems, there's always issues surrounding privacy because any data is backed up online, meaning the data is more likely to be accessed by hackers. Another issue you can talk about is the fact that if there is no Wi-Fi or an internet connection, these companies can't access the data because it's all stored online. In this section of the video, we're going to go over an example question that might come up in your Unit 1 IT Systems exam. So the question tells us that the user has photos and videos on his smartphone which he normally stores on his device but he has an internet connection and has decided to store them on cloud storage software and he wants to do this because he wants to access them on his PC instantly when he gets home. The question is asking us to explain two implications of using cloud storage for the user. The main things that you should take away from the question is the fact that he has a 3G mobile internet connection and that he wants to access them on his PC instantly when he gets home. Another important thing you should take away from the question is the fact that it's cloud storage and not cloud computing. The first implication I'll talk about is how cloud storage will require a heavy use of bandwidth from his mobile internet connection. So it means that his bandwidth will decrease, meaning it will take longer for him to save his data online. The next implication I will talk about is the issue surrounding hackers online. When you store your data online, there's always a higher chance of hackers accessing your data. This is something a user should think about before uploading their data onto the cloud, especially if the data is private and confidential. 